Right, okay. I thought I would utilize the, uh, the footprint for the um, Journey Duo, just so I can put this sleeping bag on the ground without getting it wet or dirty. So, I thought it was time to answer the question, what is the most extreme sleeping bag that Snug Pack do? And it's a no-brainer, really. There, there's, a, there's a sleep system, there's the um, Special Forces sleep system, which arguably is two sleeping bags, but if you're looking for the individual, the most extreme sleeping bag, then look no further than the Antarctica Ari. Um, she's not she's not compressed she does compress but um, I don't like to keep the sleeping bags compressed in fact to be honest with you I put this back in the sack I would store them laid out flat you don't want to be storing a sleeping bag compressed because when you open it up it will not want to open the fibers up and therefore will lose its efficiency at insulating you. It's a no-brainer, really. Okay, what's special about the Antarctica Ari? Well, how's minus 50 degrees Celsius for you? Which in uh, American, that's minus 58 Fahrenheit. Yes, it's rated down to the low temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius, you heard right, and minus 58 Fahrenheit. <laughs> this is a true four season sleeping bag. Um, four seasons in the UK, well, in most extreme, you might, you might come across minus 10, minus 15, uh, 16, 17, if you're really unlucky. Um, and this has the comfort rating of minus 20. So anything less, anything warmer than minus 20, you're gonna have to unzip it. That's how warm this thing is. Now, shall we open it up? I can explain, kind of explain the technology behind it. The RE, stands for um, reflector therm. It's a product within the fibers. I'm just gonna air her out, open her up. It's a product within the fibers that helps to retain heat and reflect heat back onto you. If you imagine, you know those foil blankets, the emergency blankets? If you shred that up and put it in with the material, the stuffing, the insulation, it's that material which is aiding the ability for this to, that's what makes it special. I don't think there's another sleeping bag on the market that does that. Okay, so central baffle, sorry, central zip, full length central zip. We open her up, we've got a wee pocket on that side, we've got this massive baffle which once you're in and you're zipped up you can pull it tight with, um, you've got an elasticated shock cord and um, like a, a release grommet there and it holds it all in place. Um, I'll be completely honest with you, I've never, not in the UK, I've never had to cinch everything up. I've been, I've been in minus eight, minus 10 in this, and I've still had it zipped down to my waist because it's that warm. In the bottom, you'll see you have an extra strong bit of material. So is that some of you guys are going to use this for its true intention and therefore you're going to be sticking your boots in this um, and just to let you know it has a reinforced footwell for you guys um, but pound for pound this is the warmest sleeping bag 
the most extreme sleeping bag that Snug Pack make. And um, yeah, I think maybe if you uh, if you hang around, we can do. Uh, I can do you a demonstration of the. I mentioned it before. It was the Special Forces combo system, which is two sleeping bags. Um, but yeah, that's your extreme sleeping bag. So I'm going to stick the link on. Um, if you're looking for, let's have a look. Weight. I think it's it's close to three kilos, so it's not a lightweight. Yeah, 2.9 kilos. But hey, if you want to be warm, that's the bag for you. Right, thanks for your time. I'm going to crack on before that rain gets in. And I'll see you later on. All the best. Cheerio. Bye.